Just a week before today's Bible story happened, crowds of people had lined the streets to welcome Jesus to Jerusalem. They called him their king and shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna! Now, just a week later, things had changed. People were mad at Jesus, especially the Jewish rulers. They wanted to get rid of him. Jesus knew what was happening, so he went to a garden to pray. He took a few friends with him and asked them to pray too, but instead they fell asleep. Jesus knew that God had sent him to take the sins of all people onto himself. He prayed hard, asking God if there was any other way. But Jesus trusted God, so he prayed, Yet I want your will to be done, not mine. Then, just like Jesus knew was going to happen, soldiers came and arrested him. There he is! Arrest him! They took Jesus before the Jewish council and then before Pilate, the Roman governor. Pilate was going to release Jesus, but the crowds wanted Jesus killed. The same people who just a week before had shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna, were now shouting, Crucify him, crucify him. So Pilate sentenced Jesus to die even though he had never done anything wrong. They nailed his hands and feet to a wooden cross. Jesus hung on the cross in pain for hours. Then at noon, darkness blotted out the sun. And Jesus died. Jesus' friends thought it was the end. They were so sad. They took Jesus' body, wrapped it in cloth, and laid it in the tomb. Three days later, some women went to the tomb to put spices on Jesus' body. The big stone in front of the tomb had been rolled away! Suddenly, two angels in dazzling robes appeared. They said, He isn't here! He is risen from the dead! The women ran to tell their friends that Jesus is alive! Oh, come see! Come he is risen! Jesus is alive! <laughs> Jesus died to take the punishment for the wrong things we all do. When we believe in Jesus, we can live with him forever in heaven. That's great news! Jesus trusted God, and God helped him stand strong. Trusting God helps us stand strong too!